Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the farm. Uh, it's our very first farm. We're continuing to try to build up into a farming empire. <laughs> uh, our focus re recently has been trying to grow ourselves into a grass silage uh, producer because that has, so far for me anyways, produced the most amount of money. So at the moment, we have a bunch of, what is this? Is this oats? Um, we have a bunch of oats that we've been working on, but unfortunately, I don't think that we're gonna go that route because while oats does help out because you can get the uh, straw for that, <clears throat> I'm not really gonna focus too much on, on uh, total mixed rations for the cows. Um, and because I'm not worried about that, and also because I don't need the straw for anything else, I don't, I don't think we're gonna continue with that. But first and foremost, we do have to go ahead and get all of this figured out. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the GPS on this on these vehicles. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and figure that figure that out then. I need a toolbox. I did download a toolbox mod that allows me to. Let's see. Where do I want to put this? I'm gonna put this over here by where all of the equipment goes, so that way we can always just use it. I'm actually gonna put it right there. Uh, so that way we can we don't have to drive all the way to the shop to upgrade our equipment the reason I want to get the toolbox set up is because I did download a GPS steering guiding steering guidance mod that will allow me to uh, be a little bit more accurate with all of my driving so let's go ahead and pick this up put that right there we are going to customize this we are going to add GPS to it wheel setup is fine I like Michelin because why not um, okay, so we're gonna have to spend 15 grand on that. That kind of hurts, but it is what it is. Uh, actually, and then for this guy here, 11.9 is the max speed for that. So we'll put, oh, okay, that works too. <laughs> so now I wanna get the GPS turned on. I wanna get the settings set up so that I'm doing a heading uh, because I like to do the headings. I don't like to have to manually stop and set the heading every single time. Go ahead and get this uh, turned over in this direction right here. Eventually. Get our set. Wait, what's the direction? I'm, I'm 270 right now. Uh, boom, boom. We'll change this to 270 so that it automatically puts our stuff there. Let's see. I don't have the... Where are the lines? I hold on. I gotta figure out. I gotta remember how to turn the lines on. Show lines. Yes. There we go. So now that we have our lines all set up, I'm gonna get this uh, lined up where I want it. There we go. All right. Cool. So now we can turn our machine on. And now, when I turn, activate the steering, it will automatically put my machine on the center line there. I'm not worried about straw because I've changed my strategy for that. I'm gonna turn around because I don't have enough room here. That's fine. We'll get our. Oh, oh my God. Okay, seriously, let me go, please. There we go. All right. So we can't see the lines very well through the oats here, but it will. Uh, Ugh, yeah, this just these buildings are too close for the harvesting here, but that's okay. Eventually, I am going to change. I am going to change this little field over here into vehicle storage because it's just a really tiny, small little field, and we don't really need it. I'm going to switch back to this view here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of cleanup because this is. <laughs> This thing works great when you have room to turn around and all of that, but, you know, you have to get yourself turned around. Okay, we'll finish, uh, we'll finish doing this field. We'll move over to the other field. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have you guys watching me the entire time we're doing all of this harvest. We still have other things to get done, uh, but this is such a small field that it just doesn't really make much sense for me to put a cut in here, because, well, I mean, I, not a really good demonstration of the way this tool works. Obviously, Oh, you know what? I wonder if I, uh, I wonder if I set the size, the size. 
because uh, it's it is supposed to auto auto size your equipment but uh, at the same time sometimes you need to reset it it's okay though all right get that turned off we'll get over here we're gonna have to recenter our tool a little bit once we get over here but that's okay Boom, boom, boom. Get it all. Oh, nope, too far. Okay, that should be good. Oh, yeah. And there we go. Get the tool turned on. We'll go all the way down to the end and get all of this picked up. Now, I do have to do a headland at the end of the row over here because there's not enough room to turn around, but that's okay. We'll get all the way to the end. We'll do a little turn, do a headland up and back so that we have plenty of room to turn around. And then we can just use the GPS guided steering to make our lives super easy. And as a matter of fact, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do a turn like this. And then we'll go up and back. That'll give us room to turn around so we don't hit the fence. And then we'll start using the GPS guided steering to give us uh, some really high precision turning here. Okay, so let's do that. Get ourselves turned around. There we go. So, yeah. I need to be a little bit better about aligning myself to the turn because it's it doesn't do a very good job of adjusting your steering to perfectly put you in. Sometimes it'll sway back and forth a little bit because it's not able to compensate very well for the way the steering works, but that's okay. It's okay. It still works very well, especially for most of the applications that I'm trying to use it for. We'll hop back into the cab here just so we can get a nice different view here. Get ourselves turned around. <laughs> ourselves on the line there and this will perfectly put us so if you're using this properly it will set you up so that you don't so you're getting exactly the, the right width on all of your rows and all you have to do is just put yourself on the middle line turn on the steering guidance and it'll perfectly align you all the way down the path here so I'm gonna finish going up and down these last couple of rows and I'll be back when we're ready to go do the next thing all right, we're finishing up this last little bit here. There were a couple of little spots that I didn't end up grabbing because of bad placement. That was all my fault. The mod had nothing to do with any of that. Let's go ahead and come back over here. You can, you can, um, oops, that's again, my fault. Let me back up here so I can get this correctly. You can shift over the, there's a key bind that will shift your track over one direction or the other which is very helpful because, you know, if you need to move things over, so you can watch the lines moving over. So if you have it slightly off in one spot, it kind of helps out a little bit. Let's go ahead and get the, the uh, oats taken out of here and put into our silo. And then we'll go check our grass. I don't remember. It's been a little bit since I've actually done this farm. I've, I have my own farm that I've been working on. And I play that quite a lot. I've been learning quite a lot, uh, and I'm trying to apply as much of that over here on the YouTube farm as I can. But, you know, this farm is going to be slightly different because the layout's different. I'm in a different part of the map. In my, in my other game, I'm way down over here. I really like this area. I have all of this turned into one big grass field, and I'm starting to put uh, cow farms over here. I'm thinking that for this map, what we'll do, I was originally going to put my cow farms over here, but I think what I might end up doing is, is I might put the cow farm, the the cow, the cow, uh, cow barns or whatever they're called, uh, kind of over in this direction here. We'll turn this into a big storage area for vehicles and stuff like that. And then, uh, you know, we might, well, we might intersperse cow and chicken because I do want to eventually do both. And then all of this down here can just be one big grass field that feeds all of this operation up here. And we can just sell the excess silage because the silage, when you wait until the winter time, ends up being quite a lot of money. But right now, that's not really what we're working on. We are going to get our harvester put away if I can get better control over my vehicle here. Let's get that done. Get this thing parked back in its spot. Okay, is that gonna hit? Yep, I wasn't sure if it was gonna hit or not. Sometimes things will clip and sometimes things will not. I'm never quite sure what is going to clip and what won't. 
Let's get this folded away. Okay, get this turned off. Head over to our tractor. I do have the quick. St I do have a mod that allows me to be a little bit more efficient with my. Actually, before we drive the tractor all the way over there, let's run over, look at the grass. I don't remember what it said when we ran over here last time. But if it's ready to go, we'll go ahead and get our mowing done now. What does this say? Yep, ready to harvest. So let's go ahead and get our equipment. I am at the point now where I'm starting to drive in person a little bit more. So let's see here. So here's my issue. Before we go into all of that, what I have on my other farm now is I, I, I'm actually using a forage harvester. I'm using this big forage harvester right here, this guy. And um, with him, I'm also using this six meter, this six meter uh, piece of equipment here that attaches to that. And I also have a trailer. I've downloaded a mod that allows me to have this gooseneck trailer right here. This, this thing right here is really cool because it allows me to do this unrealistic uh, unrealistic capacity. And I can get up to 182 meters in this guy. Which, you know, if you're trying to play hardcore realism, it's completely ridiculous. But if you're, if you're like me and you want to minimize the amount of repetitive, irritating, time-wasting, back-and-forth stuff, this makes it so that you can get quite a lot into this machine before you have to stop and go back to the silo. So my goal is to do the same thing on this uh, on this farm here. We want to get this forage harvester here with this header here pumping into this trailer over here with the unrealistic uh, low, with the unrealistic capacity. Um, but unfortunately, I don't have the money for that. And if I remember correctly, I, I did download the lease to own mod that allows you to basic. It's basically a you're you're still making payments. It's just you're actually having to make payments, and the va and the, the the price you have to pay on the machine itself goes down over time as you continue to do that. Unfortunately, I need five grand a month. I think was the total payments for this the head, and I ended up buying that trailer, and I don't think I have one here on this farm. Um, we could sell the forage harvester to buy the trailer. Well, let's see how much is a forage how much is a forage wagon gonna sell me? How's that? How much is that gonna sell for? Sorry, I cannot speak right now. Um, oh, oh, oh. Well, we definitely want to return that. Oh, hold on. Oh, I. That was stupid. Okay. Well. <laughs> Um, okay. Do we have any loans on this? Oh, you know what? Somebody, somebody mentioned I should be checking this. I keep forgetting about it. Uh, there's nothing here particularly that I'm looking for, though. Um, okay, so I lost track of what I was doing then, and I just got rid of my forage wagon, so that's not the best. Let's see. I think what we're going to want to do... Um, if I sell... I think if I sell, what am I looking for? If I sell both of these, that would give me enough money. Uh, I don't remember how much it was to lease all of this stuff, though. There's like there's like a twenty thousand dollar upfront lease cost, and then five grand a month after that. Oh no, it was like it was more. Okay, so I but I think I think what we're gonna I think we're gonna try to go for that because it makes my life so much easier. Um, hmm. We're gonna we're just gonna go for it, and hopefully it doesn't it doesn't screw me up. We can sell that, and we can sell that. And that gives that should give us enough money to now lease this forage harvester, twenty six thousand. But I want to make sure that I get all of this set up correctly. Um, I like the long pipe, and I do want the GPS. So that's going to put us at 27,000 to lease this. So let's do that. If we have to get a loan to keep the payments up, then that's what we'll have to do. I don't really want to do that, but right, and then I do have the speed mod that allows me to do this stuff much faster. And we'll lease this. And then we also, all right, so I have enough money to actually buy that wagon or buy the trailer. So let's go ahead and grab this trailer here. 
We'll give it the unrealistic. Um, I'm. F we'll do this that wheel setup. I don't really want the branding. Um, I want the gooseneck because the turning radius for this thing sucks uh, when you have the regular trailer attached. So I'm going to show you that in a second. Hold on. I just want to make sure that we're doing all of this correctly. We're going to go ahead and buy this. And then we need a... Um, we need a dolly for this. I don't really want to spend another... I don't, I'm not going to... How much is the lease this? We could... I want to have a little bit of money in reserve... I want to have a little bit of money in reserve, but uh, we'll just go ahead and buy that. Hopefully that doesn't screw me over. But anyways, for now, we're going to go park this guy, and we're going to use all of this equipment, and then you guys will be able to see what I've been doing on my big farm. I'd rather just... I'm the kind of person who... I'd, I'd rather just go ahead and upfront buy all of the big stuff that I want, because... You end up spending more money in the long run buying equipment, selling equipment on the, you know, selling depreciated items, and then it just it ends up being this really big waste of money in the end. So let's go ahead and get ourselves parked over, or get ourselves pulled back over here. And since I can't really see what I'm doing from inside the cab, we'll turn ourselves this way. So the reason I need the dolly is is because I want to have the. I want to have, you see, you see how the turn for this is, when I have it set up for a regular trailer, it doesn't, the, the turning radius is just horrible. It's really horrible. This thing will actually turn pretty sharply, but if you have the wa the regular wagon attached, it, it gets stuck on the wagon and it won't turn very well. So I want to have it set up like this. Let's go ahead and get our thing set out. Now we're going to have to have five grand a month, I think, for this, uh, for the machine but that means we're gonna have to take out some loans there's there's really no getting around that but the cool thing about this uh, is is I don't have to worry too much about all of these curves and I don't have to worry about going back and missing things because a lot of times with the forage wagon and the mower even with the swathing there were just big patches of grass that were left down but now I can get myself set up in a way that allows me to just go where I want to go and as long as I'm cutting it's putting grass into my storage container there so let's go ahead and do a let's go ahead and do a turn around this the weird thing is that I'm not gonna be able to I mean I could use my GPS for this part but the weird angles and everything is just gonna make that a little bit difficult so I am going to go like this around and switch back to this view for now because so you see how I'm able to turn really sharply there is because I have the dolly set up there instead of the trailer I would not be able to make a, tr a sh I, would, I would not be able to make a turn that sharp if I did not have this setup that I have now so you guys are getting the benefit of me playing this, playing a separate version of this on my own because I'm figuring out these little tips and tricks as I go because I'm always looking for efficiency. I'm always looking for better ways to get things done. And if I can find a better way, I'm, you know, always going to use that. So we'll give ourselves a little bit of a headland here. I'm going to turn around and we'll get the GPS set up so that I can do a full on... Oops, I needed to turn a little bit more. Oh, come on. Get around. There we go. Okay. Yeah, see how I'm able to just basically swing around like crazy? So now we need to get uh, the GPS turned on. We need to get... Uh, oh, hold on. Every time you get into a vehicle, you have to go in and set the mode. Because the default is you have to set an A point and a B point to get the direction set. I don't know why it won't stay on the one I want once I set it to that. But... Every time I start the game, I have to do that. So now I can turn it on. I can tell it I want 90 degrees. So we type in 90 degrees, and then I can realign it until it gets right where I want it to be. There we go. Set our heading. Oh, wait, hold on. It's still set to... Okay, there we go. Sometimes you have to reset, reset the size of the tool for the machine. I don't know why it doesn't automatically do that. Now we're automatically set. And I can sit here in the cab now. And we'll go up and back and up and back. 
Now for this field, I'm not gonna necessarily do it that way. I'll go up a certain ways and then I'll turn off to the left here so I can keep going around and making little circles. I think that's kind of how I'm gonna do that. Let's roll. So we're finishing this here. I'll cut off the end of this a little bit and then get back into cutting grass. So we'll do something like this here. then we'll oops I think I'm, I don't think I'm cutting grass over here <laughs> it's the only thing about this particular mower is it's very hard to tell where the cutting is actually happening and then the other thing is is that it's only going to cut grass that has been created on a field here oh wait I want that I want this I want this one here okay oh wait. no okay I want this one here never mind so I'm, I, I've gotten to the point where I'm not overly concerned about cutting every single blade of grass um, I'm mostly concerned about the ease of using my GPS here, so it is what it is. You're going to have a little bit of over, overlap, and it's not worth going back since I'm not going to get all this extra grass on the side here because it's a forage wagon. So I typically skip a row. I skipped two on that one. I try not to do that, but I was worried about the telephone pole there. So I'll finish up this field and then uh, bring you guys back when we're ready to drop it off in the silo. Just wanted to bring you guys back for a quick second so you can see my updated setup. I always, I forget, sometimes I forget I have this work camera that allows me to have a little bit better of a view of what's going on behind me. Uh, and I also, because of the turning radius of this, even with the even with the dolly behind me and the gooseneck trailer, the turning radius on this big machine is just a little bit wide to be trying to go back and forth one row at a time. So I typically tend to skip rows and I'll end up having these little strips like this. So just a little tip for you, if you're using big machines like this that have a very wide turning radius, I mean, even for this, it, it's still fairly wide. Sometimes it's easier if you just set yourself up so that you can make nice wide turns like this and then get yourself lined up. And just be careful when you're using the GPS. If you're too far off your course, you see how it's like oscillating back and forth. If you're very far, when you press the button, it'll just keep oscillating back and forth and never recover. So get yourself relatively straight on the line. There is another mod, uh, vehicle control add-on, which um, will do turns for you, but I've found that it doesn't really do a very good job. It has that same problem of just really oscillating badly, especially if you're driving something that's relatively quick like this. So just keep that in mind. As I said, I'm gonna continue the field here and uh, bring you guys back when we're ready to deposit. All right, we're finishing up with the field over here. One or two little passes left to go. You can see I can swing pretty much and do a 180 if I want to, but you have to oversteer quite a lot to make that happen. And the only reason I'm really doing that here is because it's such a small, tiny patch. That's okay. Let's get this last little bit done, and we're going to go and get our grass put into... Oh, hold on. I'm going to make sure it all comes out of the machine. Okay, there we go. All right, let's go ahead, and we'll get the camera turned off. Now, the thing about this is, is you got to be kind of careful when you come over here to try to get this to line up properly with this so you can actually unload it. But we'll go ahead and get it unloaded there. And now we have silage going into there. Let's check our silage load. We have a yeah, we have plenty of silage coming into this. I'm not going to bother with well, hold on. I will we're going to eventually start doing hay once we get closer to getting grass, but I need as much silage as I can because that's where all the money is. So, but eventually I'm going to want to start having hay because it's going to allow us to feed the cows. Now, you only get 80% uh 80% 80% uh of the production out of the cows when you're using just hay but then you don't need a mixer and you don't have to go through the process every month or every every so often of having to go through and actually mix all of that stuff and it's just you know it's a repetitive boring process that I'm willing to accept a 20% loss to not have to do all of that so I think what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna store this trick I don't think I can fit inside the I don't know that I can fit inside the thing here. Uh, let me try taking this header off. And we'll see if we can pull through with the machine over here to get our trailer. Oop, 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 I'm really struggling right now. Hold on, sorry. Get this thing turned around this way. Just trying to get inside the thing here. The the rear steering, I'm sure, like a lot of people, just really throws me off. Okay, there we go. 
Matter of fact, I think we can... Will the whole thing fit in here? I think it will. So I think we can store our forage harvester in here. <coughs> we'll find a better place to... We'll find a better place to leave that header. Because over here is going to be a little bit... I'm going to have to swing all the way around and pick it back up again. But I think right there is probably good. So we now have that grass done. We have silage being made. We have deposited our oats over here. I don't really have a plan for um, what we're going to do for the rest of the fields over here. I will... I do plan on selling this thing here and putting another shed over here because, uh, you know, just having to deal with this field isn't really worth it, and I'd much rather just store equipment over there. But for now, I think we're going to go ahead and call that a day. Hopefully you guys have been having lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button if you have so the YouTube algorithm will know and send the video out to as many people as possible. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so now so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your video feed and you'll be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members do get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click that join button and check out the list of options available there and decide if any of those are right for you. If you're not interested in a continuing commitment, there is also the thanks button that will allow you to make a one-time contribution. Your direct contributions are greatly appreciated and a, a uh, critical component to helping to turn this into a full-time gig. So again, thank you very much for your time. Hope you guys have been having fun building a farm with me, and I'll see you for the next one.